It's about time that I made a video shorter than 15 minutes. Didn't YouTube used to restrict videos that were that long or something? So yeah, in case you couldn't tell by the title, I like to use punctuation in my video title. Also, Crash 4 is amazing! I will admit, I haven't fully completed this game yet, but so far, I'm really enjoying it. Challenging levels with excellent designs, fluid movement that makes the game so much fun to mess around with, new characters to play as that are notably distinct while not breaking the flow of the game for once. It's basically everything that I wanted this game to be and more. Kind of a bold statement to make so early after release. And you might think that I'm just fresh off the heels of a nostalgia bomb because Crash Bandicoot has been receiving more love in the past few years than he has his whole life, and that I'm saying this as a longtime fan of Crash Bandicoot. But no. In fact, I didn't even get into the series until last year when I played Crash Team Racing... Nitro Fueled. I did say last year, mind you. Full disclosure, I feel like I'm the only American-born citizen that never grew up with a PlayStation. Or a PlayStation 2. And at this point, I don't even know what they look like. Crash Bandicoot and, to an extent, Spiral the Dragon were games that I definitely knew about, but never had the opportunity to play the games. I mean, I could have played one of the games that did get released on a console that I owned, but given the volatile reception that those games received at the time, it was probably for the best that I didn't. But even if it was realistic to wait around 20 years before getting into the series, why start with Nitro Fueled? Well, I was watching Black Mage Maverick's video on Crash Bandicoot racing games, and he occasionally made some brief nods to the amount of content that Nitro Fueled was going to have, and I decided that I was going to buy it. I mean, a game with so much content available at the start, with a plethora of post-game content that is free, and it isn't even being sold as a full-price game? Okay, this is an extreme rarity, I gotta have this! And once I played it, I was absolutely enthralled, and did not want to put the game down at all! Not just because of the constant content that I could unlock just by literally doing anything, but also because it was one of the most engaging video games I've ever played. Yeah, there were a bunch of glitches here and there, the online was pretty bad overall, and the microtransactions were... Fuck off and don't talk to me ever again. But aside from that, not only did Beanox do a fantastic job with this game, but also a fantastic job at actually listening to the fans. All we needed was that Nitro Kart story mode and we'd be looking at a real ass 10 out of 10. Which makes it hurt even more that the game just up and died without a word. But to be fair, I still come back to this game every once in a while. It's just that given the amount of time I spent with it over the past several months of its life, it kinda did prevent me from playing almost any other game. Such as the Insane Trilogy! Not just that, but the Insane Trilogy bundled with the Spiral Reignited Trilogy! I still can't believe how amazing these remakes ended up turning out. Not just from a gameplay perspective, but also from every other perspective possible. But for me, there's just one thing that really made me enjoy these games as much as I did. After playing my first ever Crash and Spyro games, the first thing that I said was, I'm genuinely sad that I never grew up with these games. I mean, I knew why I didn't grow up with these games, but they still looked really cool to me when I was a kid. And even though I'm old enough to drink all the alcohol I want, I really felt like a kid again when playing these. And I don't think I've ever had this experience with a game that I didn't already own. Crash Bandicoot is just as insane as it claims. As a kid, I've always been into the completely weird, off-the-wall style that many cartoons had back in the day. So Crash games would have fit right at home with me. Or at least this easily would have been one of those games that I played as a kid, quit playing for a long time, and come back and finish in my early adult years. I mean, I am in my early adult years, and I really enjoyed playing the Insane Trilogy quite a lot. Enough to get me to buy Crash 4! I remember when the trailers first dropped that people were so shocked to see these new models. And even though I missed the Insane models as well, I still thought that the new models were... Okay, they looked kind of rough in the trailers, but nothing that would have turned me away from playing it. Besides, I was still on my Crash Bandicoot high at the time, so this was an immediate day one release for me. I thought the game looked good, I wanted it to be good, and when I got around to actually playing it, it was good. And what do you know? Beanox got to help with the game's development. And I gotta say, these models are definitely growing on me. I mean, 
Look at how expressive these characters are! I'd even go as far as to say that they're probably even more expressive than they were in the Insane Trilogy. And that is saying one hell of a lot! These animations made me enjoy watching the cutscenes a whole lot more. I'm not gonna spoil much of the story, but just know that the way that these cutscenes are animated is just endearing. Crash 4 isn't drastically different from the Unsane Trilogy, but it's definitely got enough variety to make it feel like a fresh entry in the series. Just like the original trilogy, it's another fun and challenging platformer that usually doesn't take longer than a typical day after work. It's not perfect, I'll admit it. Tana's grappling hook feels finicky at times, at least when using it as an attack. I feel like the color gems require you to go out of your way to find them a little too much. Or at least I wish a level would tell you if a color gem was in a level like what the Insane Trilogy did. And also... WHY THE FUCK DO YOU NEED TO HAVE TWO LOADING SCREENS FOR EVERY LEVEL? But aside from that, it's great. Like I said, I haven't completed everything in the game. I'm not a professional reviewer, and this is not a professional review. My very existence is the dark souls of YouTubers. <laughs> that is not a thing humans should ever have to say. But the reason that I made this video is to demonstrate how much I've been enjoying this series as of late. I don't feel like I've been robbed of a childhood or anything, but I'm still incredibly happy that I got to be a Crash fan during the series' best time period. Alright, catch me next year when we get that new Spyro game. So, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video all the way to the end. Now you're free to express your opinion on this video in any way you see fit. Whether that be leaving a like, a dislike, or dropping a comment down below letting me know if you've been enjoying Crash 4. This is a little different from my usual content. Not just because this is shorter than my normal videos, but also because it's not about Smash Brothers. While I love making lengthy analytical videos, and videos about Smash Brothers in general, sometimes I just want to make a video about whatever game I've been enjoying lately. I'm not just a Smash tuber that enjoys Marvel vs. Capcom, you know. Plus, if I keep making long videos that I'm extremely passionate about, the fucking YouTube algorithm isn't gonna let me live for very long. That said, I still have plenty of analytical projects in the works, including one right now that, sadly, I had to delay because... It's kind of really massive! Like, the rough draft was already really big, but somehow I still have to add even more to it. But, hey, if you want to support this little guy making not little videos, because I fucking hate that little thing, big results sort of cliche that I see in every goddamn commercial ever, then why not hit the subscribe button, click the bell right next to it, and check out the rest of my channel while waiting for my next upload. Maybe even follow my social media, links below. And with all that said, I hope that the rest of your day is absolutely wonderful, and I will see you when I feel like it.